right guys welcome back to 243 outdoors this is Josh so today we have a Winchester model 70 chambered in 220 Swift we're gonna be playing with a little bit we have a vortex Golden Eagle uh, it is a 15 to 60 power by 52 scope it's an amazing scope got this gun on loan for a little bit and we're gonna be doing a little bit of work with it uh, it's been a while since I've been out shooting it's been a couple weeks we've had all kinds of weather we've had rain we've had snow sleet we actually was in a uh, winter uh, weather advisory last night and then they canceled it last minute and we didn't get anything out of it. But we're about 32, 35 degrees today. We do have a probably a 10 mile an hour north wind. The dispenser on the truck's blocking the wind off me a little bit, so it shouldn't be too bad for shooting 100 yards a day. Before we get started today, I just want to talk a little bit about the 220 Swift. To me, the 220 Swift is kind of an older school cartridge. It originated back in, I think, like 1935. And basically today it's been replaced by the uh, 22 250. Uh, ballistically and all the uh, performance, the 220 Swift actually outperforms the 2250, but it just seems like the, it's more mainstream the 22250 is. Uh, the 220 Swift was the first uh, commercial cartridge that was loaded over 4,000 feet per second, and I believe it's it was the current, it may still be the world record holder for uh, the fastest uh, factory loaded cartridge. I believe it was a 29 grain bullet, and it was a uh, velocity was like 4,600 or 4,700 feet per second. So that's pretty amazing out of one of these calibers. Uh, you don't see a whole lot of it anymore. Uh, it's still out there. Uh, buying ammo for it is, uh, it's, you don't see a lot of 220 Swift. But it's a very neat cartridge. I've, uh, I've actually shot this rifle about a year ago a little bit and then uh, got it back and got this uh, Vortex uh, Golden Eagle scope on it. And uh, when I get done kind of playing with this rifle, I think I may throw this uh, scope on my 243 and play with it a little bit. Uh, it's an amazing scope. It's 60 power, and uh, 60 power is basically like you're shooting through a spotting scope. Uh, the only downfalls I've seen is on a calm day, it is crystal clear. There is no doubt it is an awesome scope. Today, there's a uh, 10 mile an hour kind of crosswind, and uh, it uh, you show a lot of mirage at the higher uh, magnifications. So even at 100 yards looking through the scope, I'm seeing a lot of mirage. I cannot get that kind of focused out. So that's really the only drawback I see with this scope. And the, uh, the adjustment on it, it doesn't have a ton of adjustment. I believe it's only like 55 minutes of adjustment. So I've actually purchased a, a 20 MOA base that I'm going to be putting on my uh, 243. And then I've got, I believe, low, medium, and high rings, 30 millimeters. So I should be able to come up with a set of rings. But that's just something I'm going to be doing in the future and let you guys know. We got some test loads we're going to be shooting today, loaded up with Varget. These are 55 grain VMAX, loaded directly out of the book. We're going to start at 34.6 grains, go to 35.1, 35.6, 36.1, and 36.6. We'll be shooting 100 yards. With this uh, high powered scope, I don't have the one inch dots. I do have the little, it's about a 3 8 circle colored in red, but we shouldn't have any trouble seeing today. We're going to be shooting four shot groups, and like I said, we got five test loads. So, enough talking, let's get started. Start out with our 34.6 grains of Argot. These are 55 grain VMAX, loaded by the book, 2.680 overall length. We're starting with a cold bore today. This is once fired Winchester brass.
We got a 34.92 average and a standard deviation of 13. So let's go up to 35.1 grains. So the chronograph, I believe, gave four exact readings, 35.46, so that's perfect, I guess. 35.46 and a standard deviation of zero, so take that for what you want. Don't know. Hopefully it's right, but I highly doubt it. So we're going to jump up to 35.6 grains of Varget. nice all right that's 35.79 a standard deviation of five so we'll go up to 36.1 grains Thirty-five, eighty-three, standard deviation of seven. So uh, our uh, velocity and numbers are looking pretty good so far. So we got our last charge. This is max in the book of thirty-six point six grains. All these rounds were full length pre-sized. The bottom right target.
got a 36 28 average and a standard deviation of five so let's go get this target and see what happened before we uh, check out what we did I want to tell everybody that I started a patreon account with all the uh, stuff that's going on with YouTube getting ready to come down here in the next couple weeks I wanted to have another backup in addition to Facebook so I started the patreon account it's gonna be pretty much a lot of the same info that I post on Facebook maybe a little bit more and uh, if you want to donate to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. And as a reward, I'm going to start releasing videos early to the Patreons. So uh, if you uh, donate to the channel, like this video here, as soon as it gets edited and uploaded, I'll make it live on Patreon. So uh, you don't have to wait to watch it. Sometimes when I uh, edit them and upload them, I always schedule them. And a lot of times I shoot on one weekend and I upload them usually the next Friday or Saturday or something. So uh, that'll be kind of a benefit. You get something. Uh, I'm going to list all the Patreons that support the channel at the end of every video. And there's a couple other uh, deals going on. Uh, I'll probably do a giveaway if I get up to uh, 25 Patreons in a month. So uh, just something uh, you guys can check out. You don't have to uh, contribute to the channel to view the stuff. Everything will be posted there. All the videos will be posted. And uh, in the event YouTube like kicks me off or something, uh, you can go there and find out where I'm going to next. Looking forward to probably moving to full 30 also uh, when that, that uh, platform opens up. I've got my uh, name registered and everything. So uh, right now that's the only other place that I'm going to be looking to uh, go. I'm staying on YouTube because YouTube's where the people's at. So uh, let's take a look at this target. All right, let's go over what we did today. Shooting Varget, 34.6 grains. We had a 34.92 average velocity and a standard deviation of 13. I reviewed all the camera footage and have our shot order of one, two, no, one, two, three, and four for just over three quarters of an inch of a group. So that's a pretty good group. We started out cold bore on this one. We jump up a half a grain to 35.1 grains. We had four identical readings of 35.46. The chronograph picked up all four rounds, making our standard deviation zero. I wouldn't put a lot of emphasis into the standard deviation. All the average velocities increase pretty equally with each increase of charge, so I feel that our average velocity is pretty close. So uh, we'll just go by that. We had a four shot group measuring 0.857. Our shots were one, two, three, and four. Jumping up another half grain to 35.6, we had a four shot group of 0.779, just over three quarters of an inch of a group. And we had a 35.79 average and a standard deviation of five. So uh, we had a really good three shot cluster right there and overall that's, that's still a very good group. So we jump up another half grain to 36.1, we had a 35.83 average, a standard deviation of seven. Our first shot just went a little bit high, and then our other three were all here together pretty close. The total group was 1.403, if we take our three-shot group there, it's .674, so not bad. So our best group of the day come with 36.6 grains. We had a 36.28 average, a standard deviation of five. Four-shot group measuring .414. That's very impressive. One, two, three, and four. So basically there are three shots right there in that, that little just slightly larger than one hole so overall I was very happy with today's outing the uh, wind was a little bit of an issue but uh, seems like we shot through it all right so that's gonna wrap up today's video I want to thank everybody for watching and we will catch you later